At 8.32 in the morning, not very long ago, one of the most powerful forces in nature woke up in Portland's backyard. But Mount St. Helens isn't the only active volcano in the Northwest. We're surrounded by them. So what's up? Are we gonna wake up some morning to a new Mount St. Helens? Right now, we recognize about 25, 26 places in Washington, Oregon, where magma has come out of the ground in the last 10, 12,000 years. Seth Morin leads the U.S. Geological Survey's Cascade Volcano Observatory. With his team and partners around the region, he keeps tabs on the volcanoes in the Cascade Range. These are the folks who can help us understand if any of these volcanoes might blow like Mount St. Helens did. Many of the volcanoes last erupted thousands of years ago, which might make it seem like they're dead, but... A volcano that's active is a couple hundred thousand years old and has erupted at least in the last 10, 15,000 years. A thousand years seems like a long time to humans, but if a volcano lived for just one day, those thousand years would be more like just a few minutes. In other words, these volcanoes aren't done. There's reasons to believe that it could happen again. Whether they wake up tomorrow or a thousand years from now, Seth says around eight pose the greatest risk, and each has its own personality. Mount Baker puts out a lot of gas, but doesn't erupt very often. Neither does Glacier Peak, though one past eruption was five times as big as Mount St. Helens in 1980. Mount Rainier is the tallest mountain in the Northwest and it isn't likely to blow its top. But it does have a lot of ice, which even small eruptions of hot gas and rock could melt, causing devastating mud flows. Mount St. Helens is still the one to watch. It's the most active in the chain, erupting once or twice a century on average. It's been torn down and remade so many times, the current mountain is only about 4,000 years old, compared to hundreds of thousands of years for other Cascade volcanoes, like Mount Hood. Hood's not far from St. Helens, but its personality is very different. Mount Hood is not likely to erupt the way Mount St. Helens did. Mount Hood has a history of venting gas and rock off of its sides, not huge explosions. That's not great news, though. Many people live on and around the mountain, and even small eruptions could cause landslides, explosions, and mud flows that destroy everything in their path. The rest of Oregon's volcanoes vary widely. Mount Jefferson has been relatively quiet for 20,000 years, long enough that it may be finished. South Sister goes off every couple thousand years. Newberry Crater, more frequently. And like Hawaii's Kilauea, it can send rivers of lava far and wide. Then there's Crater Lake. Today, it's a giant hole in the ground. But 8,000 years ago, it was Mount Mazama, a mountain comparable in size to Mount Rainier. The explosion that leveled it? 50 times as big as Mount St. Helens in 1980. Crater Lake produced the largest bang that we've had in the Cascades in the last 10,000 years. That brings us back to the original question. Will one of these volcanoes be the next Mount St. Helens? It's a tough one to answer. Seth and his team aren't psychics, they're more like weather forecasters. They use a network of monitoring stations to keep tabs on what each volcano is up to. Every volcano has its own sort of normal baseline, just like people. There's a range, of course, we know that's healthy, but they're, within that, everybody's a little bit different. Instead of heart rate and blood oxygen, volcanoes have earthquakes, ground warping, and gas burbs, even when they're not erupting. Comparing these vital signs to the historical record lets Seth and his team know if a volcano is acting normally or if it's time to pay more attention. When Mount St. Helens woke back up in 2004, the observatory's measurements suggested it probably wouldn't blow like it did in 1980. And they were right. That doesn't mean Mount St. Helens is anywhere near done, though. Of all the volcanoes in the Cascade Range, there's a good chance the next Mount St. Helens will be Mount St. Helens. The forces that make mountains and destroy them will continue to stir deep underground for a very long time. We can't stop volcanoes. We can't even say for sure when they'll wake back up. But by paying attention, we won't be caught off guard when they do.